This segment is going to discuss the accounting for the issuance of stock. When a corporation issues stock, they can issue either common stock or preferred stock. Both of these different types of stock will have a par value sometimes assigned to it. A par value is really an arbitrary amount that is unrelated to market value, and it's an amount that is assigned in the Articles of Incorporation. The stock also may have no par value assigned to it, or the stock may have a stated value. For purposes of accounting, the par value or stated value is really one and the same, and the no par value will also be of importance as well. When issuing stock for cash, we need to record, number one, the cash received when the stock is sold. Then we record the amount of stock that was issued at the par value in the common stock account. Any difference between the cash received and the par value or the stated value of the stock is recorded in another equity account titled paid in capital in excess of par value on common stock or there would be a paid in capital in excess of par value for preferred stock if we were issuing preferred stock. Let's look at the journal entry for the issuance of common stock. On September 1st, ABC issued 100,000 shares of $2 par value stock, and the stock was sold for $25 per share. The company needs to record the cash received, which is the number of shares, times the selling price of $25 per share, $2.5 million. We need to debit cash to increase it. We are going to record just the par value or the stated value in the stock account. 100,000 shares times the $2 par value, total par value, $200,000. The amount in excess of the par value that is paid into capital is going to be recorded in the paid in capital and excess of par value on common stock. Both of these are equity accounts. They both have credit balances. So if we were to look at the balance sheet in the equity section after the issuance of this stock, we would see that they are reporting common stock, the par value per share, how many shares the charter authorizes them to issue, the number of shares that have been issued thus far, and these shares are still outstanding. They are still held outside the corporation by owners. Total par value of the common stock issue, 200,000. Owners paid in an excess, 2.3 million over par when the stock was sold. And we didn't see this, but the company has retained earnings reported of 650,000. Total stockholders equity is the combination of the amount of paid in capital or the amount owners have paid in plus the amount of earnings that have been retained, the retained earnings. Total stockholders' equity, $3,150,000 as of the date of this balance sheet. Corporations can issue stock for something other than cash as well. If on September 1st, ABC issues 100,000 shares of $2 par value common stock, and instead of issuing it and receiving cash, they are issuing it in exchange for land. The land is valued at two and a half million. So whoever owns the land has invested it with the corporation and in exchange they have received stock. So instead of recording an increase to cash, we are going to record an increase to land because the corporation now owns land, two and a half million. The amount recorded into the stock account is just the par value, 100,000 shares at $2 par value, total par value of 200,000. The excess paid in over the par value of the stock is 2.3 million, and that is recorded in the paid in capital in excess of par on common stock. Issuing preferred stock is really not any different. It's very, very similar to the issuance of common stock. We need to record the cash received, 
we need to record the stock issued in the preferred stock account and it is recorded at the par value or the stated value of the stock. Any excess paid in is recorded into a paid in capital in excess of par value on preferred stock. If ABC issued 10,000 shares of $1 par value preferred stock and each share was sold for $5 per share. The cash received is debited for $50,000. 10,000 shares times $5 per share. The amount recorded into the preferred stock account is the par value. $1 per share times 10,000 shares, total par value of 10,000. The excess owners paid into capital in excess of par is $40,000. That is recorded in the paid in capital in excess of par value on preferred stock.